What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So today we will be feeding the little babies of our spiders, tarantulas and scorpions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see which of the specimen comes first. So before we start off the feeding video, um, today we will also be feeding them a mixture depending. Some of them are already big sub adult i mean uh big, decently sized juvies i mean so we'll give them some nice chungus mealworms for the juvies and the smaller ones can enjoy a little bit of lateralis lo roaches loaches <laughs> what is happening to me but yeah lateralis roaches so let's go on to the first specimen Alright, so first on the list we have a Ceratogyrus marshali. So let's see if it wants a little lateralis roach. Smaller size stage. Oop. It was definitely interested and I might have accidentally crushed the roach a bit too hard. I'll be right back. Alright, I took back the uh, took out the lateralis roach. Let's see if Yep, definitely. Yep, feisty little guys, but they are a whole lot of fun to actually keep watching them grow. So yeah, that's the Ceratogyrus marshali. Let's move on to the next specimen. Well, why the heck not? Let's just feed the uh, let's just feed the Ceratogyrus marshalis that I have all in one go. Nice. Good reaction time. Really cool, really cool species. Right up next, we have the Monocentral First Balfouri. They often like to scavenge food, but they already passed that phase. The size is rather big, so let's see if it wants a live roach. If the roach would cooperate and die. Hey, nice. Although we couldn't get the takedown, but hey, at least it showed itself. There we go. Hello, little buddy. You happy? You happy with the lateralis rooch? That's a very, very, very interesting specimen to have. So yeah, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have another Ceratogyrus marshali. This one looks slightly hungry. Not slightly, I mean it is hungry, so... Let's see if it wants a lap. Ooh, nice takedown. Really nice takedown. It's still fighting! Interesting, interesting. Alright, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have a very decently sized uh, Nandu Tripapii. So let's feed it a sub adult lateralis roach. And see if she is. It is. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not hungry? Oh, you are? <laughs> you were confused for a moment, weren't you, little buddy? Oh well, at least you got the roach. So, enjoy your meal, bud. Let's move on to the next specimen. So this is the last Ceratogyrus marshali. Let's see. Oops. Nice. Very nice. Alright. 
So let's move on to the next species. Next up we have a Gramastola rosea or a Poteria, I'm not sure which one. I think this is the rosea. Yep, this is the rosea. So I'm gonna it looks a bit chunk, so time to put this little little specimen on a diet. Ah A little hungry, aren't we? Atta buddy. Let's move on to the next specimen. Next up we have the Teleotocatol albopolosis. It's a bit chunk as well, so small root tree. Did I actually miss the deck? Oh, it's looking for the huh? it's looking for the roach. Now where did that sneaky roach go? Oh well. Skip the roach. Let's give it something juicier. Let's move on to the next specimen. Next up we have a rather decently sized juvenile Pteranoculus marinus, also known as the orange baboon tarantula. Now let's see if the OBT comes up to check on its meal. Oh, I wish I could see where it is. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's debating if it should come out or not. Yep, oh, there we go. last we'll ever see of that roach. Oh, somebody's been putting on some decent size. Alright, alright, alright. Hopefully it's a female. Fingers crossed. So yeah, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up we have another Gramastola. Uh, Poteri. This is the Poteri, sorry. Yep, Poteri. Let's give it a bit of a snack. Since it's showcasing its butt, will it turn around and eat? No, I guess it is. Oh yeah, but it looks a bit. It looks like it is in pre mold so I'm not gonna disturb her. It, sorry, I'm not gonna be disturbing this specimen. So let's move on to the next specimen. Taking a short break from tarantulas, let's have some scorplings. So this is the Parabutus schlatheri, also known as the borrowing tick-tailed scorpion. Let's see, you're a bit chunga, so let's get to a lap. Nice, that was a good takedown. Awesome, let's move on to the next specimen. Alright, so this Hotentota Hotentota Scorpling has molted out recently, I would assume, by the looks of it, two to, two to three days ago. So we shall leave it be, let it harden up, and then I'll try to grab a video of it and post it on my YouTube shorts. So, do stay tuned for that. Anyhow, let's move on to the next specimen. Alright, next up we have a Leurus Hyangi. The Eclipse Deathstalker. 
decent size, so let's give it a decent size roach. Ah, the specimen. Really fast, really fast. <laughs> the Eurus, very dangerous, very fast. All right, double sting, interesting. All right, let's move on to the next specimen. Right here is another Parabutas Schlotheri. Let's drop in a lap. Oh wait, no, it looks like it just molted out recently. Did it molt out recently? Yeah, I can see that it it's still trying to harden up. So, let's uh, skip this one and move on to the next Scorpling. Another recent mold, but this one it's a bigger specimen. This is the Androctinus Marotenicus. So it hasn't eaten for a while. Let's see if it is hungry. Alright, let's see if it's hungry. Nice. You see where where it's stung? Did it sting the end? Oh no, it's the underbelly. And the the root is dead. Is it dead? <laughs> oh, this specimen. Oh, second dose. Damn, the Androctonus maritanicus. Gotta love the Androctonus. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next up we have another Androctonus, uh, sorry. Another Parabutus Schlatheri. Very fast. I'm giving them little snacks here and there because... They still look rather chunk, so I don't want to overfeed them. The worst thing to ever do to a scorpling or a sling in general is to overfeed your specimens, especially the younger specimens. Not a good idea. Anyhow, let's move on to the next specimen. Next up, we have a very rare appearance of the Titius stigmurus. Hopefully, it's in the mood to eat today. Off. Whoa, that snatch. A chunk though, and you are still hungry. Oh, oh, headshot! Oh, that headshot. Ah, bye bye, buddy. You're dead. Little Roach, you gone. All right, let's move on to the next person. Next up, we have the Chersonesometris tristis. It hasn't tried lateralis roaches yet let's see how it reacts to it oh
Oh my, you are big now. Well, rehouse video coming soon. And let's see what kind of enclosure I'll make for you, little buddy. But enjoy your meal. Let's move on to the next specimen. Oh, I started eating the head. The head straight off. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, brutal, 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 brutal. You brutal, my friend. Next up, we have a hot and tota, hot and tota scorpion. Let's see if it's hungry. Are you hungry, buddy? There we go. Tentota hot and tota scoppling. Alright, let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have the six eyed sand spider, the Sicaria species. Genus, sorry. Oh! <laughs> The roach did not know what hit it. Has it delivered the bite? Oh yeah, it is. Yep, the roach is gone. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next up we have another Sicarius. Genus of Sand Spider. Six Eyed Sand Spider, I'm gonna use... Oh wait. You're excellently dead. Alright, while well, I was trying to grab uh, that half disabled roach, uh, this little fella popped out and just grabbed the roach out of my thongs and proceed to just bite and let go of the roach. Well, I missed the attack. My bad, guys. Sorry. Anyways, let's move on to the last specimen for tonight. I couldn't get enough of it, so I am showcasing the Par Parabutas Schletheri one last time. And I just dropped that lap roach inside. So. Let's see how it fares. Nope, not this way. Move back. Back. Oh. This is a problem when you have rather large enclosures. It's gonna take them a while to figure out where to go and get eaten. But anyhow, that is the last specimen in the collection to be fed, which is considered as scorpling or slings. With that guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be a lot more content coming out soon. So yeah, if you guys have any other opinions or like species that should be added into the collection, do let me know down in the comments. I Not many people will know, but I do reply and I always read all the comments. So with that, thank you for... for with that, thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen. This is Inverts Paradise, out.